simplify fully the fraction x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 7x plus 12. Uh, when students have uh, algebraic fractions, they start doing crazy things, okay, which they would never do when they're dealing with numbers. Okay, I saw uh, students doing the most crazy thing when they see fractions, uh, algebraic fractions. And one of the things that I saw students doing is they simply cancel this and this out and this and this out and you say, well, this is minus 2, minus 3 over minus 7 plus 12. Okay, so life would have been so easy if you could do like this. So this is minus 5 over 12 minus 7 is, uh, okay, that's also 5. Okay, so you get a neat number, which is negative 1. Unfortunately, what we did is absolutely wrong. Okay, so please, if you are doing like this, this is not allowed. Now, you may wonder why can't we do this. Okay, so let me give you an example first. Suppose you have, let us take, say, x is for some reason. So let us say x is 3, okay? You can take any number. So let us start with 3. So if this is x is 3, so this is 9 minus 6 minus 3. Okay. Uh, okay, so 3 was not a good choice. So let us take a different number. Suppose x is, say, 4. Okay. So let us say x is equal to 4. So this is, if you put 4 here, this is 16 minus 8 minus 3 over this is 16 minus this is 7 times 4 is uh, minus 28 plus 12. Now if you have something like this I hope you can understand you would not cancel this this 16 and 16 like this okay if you're doing like that if this is what you're doing and uh, you would not be doing and if you're doing this this is wrong okay the same thing you cannot do in uh, algebra. Algebra is nothing but numbers uh, in terms of letters. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to factorize this. Okay, now to explain that in a different way. Suppose if it is say, let us take start with numbers. Okay, suppose it is uh, 12 plus 16 over say 12 uh, plus 32. Okay, so what if, suppose, uh, this is what you would be tempted to do, tempted to do, so cancel this and this, so this is 16 out of 32, which is one half, which is absolutely wrong. Okay, so what you should be doing is, this is not allowed, this is wrong, absolutely wrong, because you can't cancel this. But what you can do is you can factorize, so this is, can I say this is 4 times 3? plus 4 times 4. Okay, this is called factorization of numbers. 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times 4 is 16. So this is, the denominator you can write as 4 times 3 plus 4 times 8. So this and uh, what we're going to do next, I'll show you the same thing. You can factor out a 4 here. If you factor out a 4, you can write 3 plus 4 inside the bracket. And you can factor out a 4 in the denominator. So you can write 3 plus 8. Okay. And so 4 and 4 can, you can cancel at this stage. When it is in a product form, you can cancel. Not when it is in an additive form. So this is nothing but 7 out of 11. 7 out of 11. So let me show this on a calculator. Okay. Or if you, if you want to do in a different way, what would you do? This is 12 plus 16 is 28 out of, this is 44, am I right? So this is nothing but 4 times, 4 times 7 is 28, and this is 4 times 11. So we have done this in a different way. And now you can cancel. When it is product, when it is times in the numerator and denominator, you can cancel these 4s, but not at this stage. I think... I'm quite clear in explaining what you should not be doing. So you have to factorize here. Yeah? So to factorize this, I'll have to put this in brackets. So this is x times x times, I'll put this in two brackets, 
and the denominator is also you got an x squared here yeah? so it's x writes a number here yeah. okay so you have to figure out two factors of negative three which gives you two so the two factors of three are obviously three and one so i'll write three and one i want negative two here yeah? so the greater number has to be negative and the smaller number has to be positive so this is how you can check minus three times one is minus three this is you should always check so this is this is giving you minus 3x and this is giving you plus x i hope you can see this is minus 3x plus 1x is minus 2x so what should i write here the two factors of 12 which gives you 7 so it's 4 and 3 so let me write 3 and 4 Oops. let me write 3 and 4 you could write anything so let's write 3 here and 4 now you want a positive number so either both the number have to be positive or both the numbers have to be negative I want a negative 7 here so I have to put a minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 so minus 3 times minus 4 is plus 12 and always check this part so this is minus 3x and this is minus 4x which is minus 7x now you can cancel this is x minus 3 and x minus 3 so your final answer is x plus 1 over x minus 4 you cannot simplify more than this don't cancel these x and then you write one quarter so this is your ultimate answer you can't simplify more than this okay now related with this question you have the next question you have to solve this so we already know the simplified form of this we already factorized that so let me copy this copy and let me paste it here so this i can directly paste this here so this is my answer okay so i'll remove this equal to sign so this is equal to two now okay so this simplifies to this we have already done that so now what you have to do is you have to cross multiply okay or multiplying both sides by negative x minus 4 so let me do that step so this is x plus 1 is equal to 2 times x minus 4 so basically what I have done is I have multiplied both sides by x minus 4 so x minus 4 gets cancelled here so you got an x minus 4 here now to expand this so this is x plus 1 remains x plus 1 and this is where most of you can do wrong you have to multiply 2 with x and 2 with negative 4 so this is 2x minus 8 okay i'm going to do the next step an interesting step so this is x plus 1 is equal to x plus x minus 8 okay so what can i do i got x and x on both sides so this and this gets cancelled you got you got x plus 1 and x uh, this 2x i've written as x plus x so you got x on one side and x on one side so this and this gets cancelled so what remains so this is 1 i'm going to add 8 to both sides so 1 plus 8 is equal to x minus 8 plus 8 so whatever you do on one side you can do on the other side so what happens minus 8 and plus 8 gets cancelled so x is equal to 9 so does this does this answer make sense so let us put this answer back into this equation so yeah what have we got so if you put here so this is 9 plus 1 over 9 minus 4 which is 10 over 5 which is equal to 2 that's what they gave that this is equal to 